What does it mean to live a life in flow versus force? Welcome to Life Below TV. My name is Leani Oliveira. I am a self-mastery and wellness coach for women. Welcome to Life Below TV, a platform dedicated to self-elevation, self-love, uh, really mastering your mind, body, and spirit so you're living your full best life. So today we're going to be talking about the idea of flow versus force. So a lot of us are living in a force mentality and I'll explain the difference between the two and then you can choose on which life that you want to live. So force. So force is a life that most of us live in it. And to me, really, my opinion is the negative programming. This idea that you have full control of everything that is happening. So you're constantly forcing, you know, you're, you're constantly doing something after the other. You're constantly busy, constantly forcing, constantly saying, this is going this way. No, I got to shift it this way. Constantly wanting to be in this, you know, uh, in this control. This control that is an illusion. Let's think about it this way. How much control do we really have? That's a question I think a lot of us ask um, and we don't contemplate it on enough. And for me, the more I think about it, the more I see that I do have control, right? I'm choosing in this very moment to be in front of the screen speaking to you. Now, when I look back in my life, um, there's so many other factors that led my mind to bring me to this very moment. And I wasn't involved in deciding all those factors, right? So I wasn't the one in charge of creating a YouTube um, platform, right? The actual company. So that's an external force. I also wasn't the, you know, I was constantly stimulated by seeing other people, you know, bring out their truth and creating a platform like this. So that again, planted a seed for me to be here in front of you. Now, when it's a topic about, you know, women and empowerment, uh, th these were experiences that happened in my life that led me to be so passionate about women and really being a guide for for us to live uh, a full expression of ourselves. Society often numbs us and it doesn't allow us to. So yeah, I've had control to, to decide to be a wellness coach for women. I've had control over creating this platform, but there's so many other things that happened that brought me to that choice. So when I think about how much control I have, I think it's a smaller uh, percentage than um, the control that is external, right? This other force um, that I believe is co-creating with me. So, right, it's, you know, we're open to having our own opinions, but I would want you to really, you know, look around, like think about, you know, some, some cultures in some, tr <coughs> excuse me, some religion believe that we did pick our parents, right? Um, we picked everything before we came, but what about if we didn't? Like, who chose your parents? You know, this is something bigger is happening outside of our choices, and that's what I'm saying. So with force, you completely disregard that. You think you're in full control, so you you always want to do, 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 do. You want to feel like you're in control. Anytime things are shifting in a way, instead of being curious of why is it shifting this way, you're like, nope, we need to go this way. You know, I already have a bigger plan. We need to shift right now this way. So uh, that shows a lot of lack of trust um, in this other piece of this other part of the creation that you're uh, part of the creation of your life. So that brings us into flow. Now, what does flow look like? So flow is what I've been living in um, for the past year, and it's been just life changing being able to just flow with the universe. And what I mean by that is, so flow, again, you know, bringing it to really definition is just trusting the universe, knowing that you don't have full control and being open minded and curious and really dancing with the universe and life. So, you know, when we think about flow for me is I'm very curious about why everything happens. Why is it happening this way? Why, what is the universe trying to tell me, right? The other piece of co-creation, it could be, you know, the universe, you can call it God, you can call it Jesus Christ, you can call it Buddha, you know, whatever we, whatever name it is, right? There's so many people pieces that um of our universe that i think it's it's impossible to really it, it, it's not impossible but i think it would be um unjust to to really focus on labeling like labeling on names i think we should honor them all um but that's another video so you know flow is really just flowing with things flowing and not forcing right if things doesn't happen don't be like oh you know it didn't go my way this is like i'm so done with this like i'm not gonna you know i'm quitting this um you know this is not as easy as people thought it was everyone's so different everyone has their own path and the universe is co-creating the best path for you so when you become in sync with the universe 
um, you start, you know, really going uh, through the growth that you need versus the growth that you want. Force is the growth that you want, right? Um, and you you have a very small picture of the universe, um, of the chapters of your life, of the different uh, dimensions and, and stuff that is going on in this world. So doing what you want doesn't necessarily bring you to the best path. Growing the way you want doesn't necessarily bring you to the best destination uh, that you can accomplish in this lifetime or the best place that maybe you deep inside want to go to. So um, flowing allows you to grow in what you need. So be very mindful of how the universe is dancing with you instead of saying, oh my God, you're not dancing right. Here you go, moving your step this way. Just say, okay, he moved this, she moved or he moved this way. Oh, let me move this way. So you learn to really flow with things. And most importantly, you really follow your intuition. You learn how to tap in. You learn how to connect with the universe. You learn how to connect with nature. It's like nature has this incredible, beautiful cycle and it doesn't go against it. You know, winter's not like, nah, I ain't leaving. I ain't leaving, nah, 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 something next is, it just lets go. It lets go and it surrenders and it allows for the other season to come into play and we enjoy it. And it's a beautiful, beautiful dance that is happening. And, you know, in this video, I want to remind you that you are part of that beautiful dance. So your life doesn't have to be forced. Allow yourself to experiment with flow and stop, you know, getting yourself into this deep unhappiness because life is actually working for you. Everything about your reality is working for you and you have to learn how to trust that and let go and surrender to it. And the more you do, the more you start really learning the depths of who you are, learning the depths of the universe, learning the depths of this reality. I think a lot of us are actually living in a reality that was created for us and we're not living in the present reality of this universe because what I'm learning is the universe has my back. It's always supporting me. It's always, you know, bringing me in the best direction. So when things doesn't necessarily go my way, I always remind myself things are working exactly as they should. Things are working exactly as I should. I don't try to stress myself. Like this is where stress comes in. So many of us are stressful, stressful, like having, you know, our stress, having stressful lives um, because we're forcing. We're doing so much force instead of just dancing with life um, and allowing it to bring us where it needs to bring us. The last thing I will say about flow is the universe is so compassionate, so wise. Um, so incredibly loving and when you fight against it you are fighting against yourself so when you're forcing things and not letting things move into alignment in the way that they should you are forcing you are working against yourself and I guess you know let me give an example so it sticks right before I close out on you know force versus flow I think I want to to really talk about an example for me so when I think about um, where I am in my life right now, I see so much uh, flow happening. But in the beginning, there was a lot of force. And I will explain how. So I went to college, right? Um, and through selection, I figured out that I wanted to be an accountant, right? I just wanted to learn about business. I want, always wanted to be a business owner. I wanted to create wealth for my family. I wanted to, to be in control of my, my wealth. I wanted to really become financially free. So all that led me to be an accountant. And then once I was an accountant, I um, actually was an auditor for Ernst & Young, one of the top accounting firms in the world. And while I was there, what I noticed um, was when I finally figured out that I wasn't supposed to be there anymore, I did a lot of force. I was just like, okay, I can't leave here. The universe, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you know, you keep showing me or through my journaling, I keep finding this like woman theme. Like, okay, I'm an auditor. Like women, you know, like, are you telling me I need to be a CEO or something? Like the first, uh, you know, black CEO, like, you know, of the company, like what is going on? What are you trying to tell me about women? The more I dived into it, the more the universe was showing me to just flow with what it is that is showing me in wellness and women and empowerment. And I kept forcing, I kept saying like, no, we, we were talking about money universe. Like, I don't know what you're talking about quitting. Like I have this incredible job making incredible money. What are you talking about? Like I don't know what you're talking about, but let's shift. 
So the more I used force, the more it caused me pain. The more stressed I was, the more unhappy I became, and the more negative I became, the more I, I, you know, I continued to complain and make excuses for things because I was going against myself. I was hurting myself. And things didn't flow into, sh things didn't shift into flow until I actually had an anxiety attack. Um, and then, you know, laying in the hospital bed, I was like, oh my God, I've been f literally forcing life when life is so fragile. Like I could be gone this very second. Um, you know, why, why am I forcing? And I think that's when I really came to understand this concept of forcing versus flow and understanding that a lot of the reasons why I was forcing was coming out of fear, fear programmed into me about security and all this other bullshit. And which didn't even allow me to be curious about flow and allow the universe to support me, allow the universe to show me how I was going to make money, allow the universe to show me how I was going to grow, allow the universe to keep explaining to me and unfolding the task and purpose that I, you know, I had instilled in me to help empower women and really uplift um, and encourage them to live their best life in full expression. So, you know, the second that I had that anxiety attack, I quit my job the next day. When I quit my job the next day, there was a lot of surrendering to the universe. There was a lot of letting go, a lot of letting go. And there was always this compassionate, powerful, um, um, extremely loving voice that, and I'm getting like teary eyed because I can feel her. And I think it's, you know, it's really my spirit, just this encouraging voice telling me what I'm capable of doing if I just let go. Um, telling me just my potential and what I'm full of and really just telling me that I didn't have to to live a life that I didn't want um, you know this force was so loving and I could say it's myself but who knows you know like I could say it was my higher self um, I'm sorry. It was so loving. And I would just refuse to go against it. And I refused to, to fall into fear. Um, and I refused to not trust it. Because I'm living the most fulfilling life. And it's, you know, there's definitely downs to this. Like, there's definitely days that I'm like, universe, you know, I'm trying to flow with you. But what are you doing? Like, where are you trying to take me? Because... <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, um, but I'm constantly practicing and I'm constantly, again, using the mantra, things are happening exactly as they should. Things are happening exactly as they should. Things are happening exactly as they should. And my only job is to understand what is happening. So, you know, I really encourage every single person that is watching this video to try to flow. Listen to yourself. What do you want out of this life? How do you want to live? You know, like this will all come to an end one day. Um, things will start fading into darkness and the, you know, the feeling that you want to have is this was an incredible life. This was incredible. You know, even if I don't have a million dollars in my account, I fucking lived, you know, I enjoyed nature. I enjoyed my family. I lived my purpose. I helped people in the way that I know I should have. You know, really listen to yourself. Don't allow yourself to live in a force, like trying to force yourself out of being who you are, trying to force yourself out of your purpose, trying to force yourself into a, uh, in a stressful situation. Start to force yourself to do things that you don't even want to do. I encourage you to sit down with yourself and listen to you. Listen to that voice inside that loves you so much and is trying to guide you so much and trying to bring you more into your purpose and alignment and happiness and joy, which is your natural vibrational self. So yeah, <laughs> I still can't believe I cried in this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for being here and I, and I hope that you really dive into what it means to live and flow. I love you. Take care of yourself. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Like, let, you know, let me rise. You know, let me rise in the YouTube uh, algorithm so other people can see this video and start living in their purpose and in flow because that's where we vibrate higher. That's where we find our purpose. That's when we find joy. We can live in alignment and happiness all together and in peace. 
okay so give me a thumbs up if you like the video comment below tell me what you think uh tell me about your experiences like have you been have you been living in flow does this make sense to you you know what questions you have how can i help you because i'm here in service um and that's it and if you're new to the channel make sure that you subscribe if you are old thank you so much for being here thank you thank you thank you um and that is all for me ladies and gentlemen peace and love i love you so much take care of yourself the most important person in the world and thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for choosing to live a life with low i love you mwah, mwah, mwah.